What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos to about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Imponte Dukes, the regular one. Now, I did customize the Beater Dukes about two years ago when it first released, but a lot of you guys wanted to see me also customize the regular one, which actually does have customization. Now, the regular Dukes did release with the enhanced version of GTA Online for PS4 and Xbox One in November of 2014, so technically it's not an OG vehicle from the base game. So this car can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for 62000 or of course, if you were a returning player from PS3 and Xbox 360, it's available to acquire for free. Now, the Duke's name was first introduced in GTA 4, and it was also featured in Chinatown Wars as well. And of course, the one from GTA 4 is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now, in terms of performance, the Dukes is in the muscle car class and is in top 20 for track performance, which is very impressive. And for those of you who didn't know, the regular Dukes is faster around a track than the beater Dukes, so do keep that in mind. But anyways, in terms of what the Dukes is based on, it's primarily based on the 1969 Dodge Charger, with some styling cues from the 1968 Pontiac Le Mans, and the back end is based on the 1970 Mercury Monterey, which is very interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Dukes. Alright, regular Dukes. Okay, we got armor, brakes, and we do have bumper upgrades. So the first one is a custom front splitter. Um, not really anything too different here, just a front splitter added. Personally, I, I prefer the look of the Charger, you know, the kind of classy muscle car look, how it's just without anything underneath. It just kind of curves downward and that's it. Um, I think this, I don't know, it doesn't really suit the styling of the car too much, at least in my opinion. Um, all personal preference, but uh, I'm going to go without that. Rear bumper is just a wheelie bar upgrade, so not really anything too crazy there. I guess if you're doing like a drag build look, you, you should put this on there, but that's totally up to you. Um, engine, exhaust, so you have dual exits, and then you have the side exit. Um, I think we'll, we're definitely going to go with the uh, dual exit there. Hood, so this is kind of where the beater dukes outshines the uh, regular dukes, and it's mainly because of the hood upgrades. There's tons of amazing options there, but the regular dukes also does have some decent options. So you got the performance hood, ram air, the carbon, the bug catcher, and of course the triple intake bug catcher. Um, hmm, I think. I think I'm gonna go for this. Was sort of like what the compromise we would use for uh, n not having the you know the, tr the traditional looking uh, charger hood. Uh, not, the Beater Dukes now offers a very similar one, but this is what we kind of had to use back then um, to kind of give this flat hood you know some lines um, without having. A, I'm not a fan of the the hood scoop on this car, so I think we're gonna go with this one as well. Um, lights. We're gonna leave the stock lights there. Uh, plates um, We'll do a black background uh, And then just for fun. I'm gonna throw my Hellcat plate on here just so we can kind of make pretend it has a Hellcat swap or something I don't know. I think it's funny. So <laughs> we'll do that there uh, Respray so for this one um, I was thinking black, you know, everybody does a black charger, but eh, I'm gonna go for something a bit different uh, We're gonna go here to metallic bright purple and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and I'm gonna throw on here a a salmon pink pearlescent, so and crazy. that will kind of give us sort of like um, a plum crazy sort of look. It's not exact, obviously you can get ten times closer with a hex, uh, but I think this is probably the closest we can get in game. You know, using normal colors without using crew colors or modded colors or any of that stuff. And um, it, it is salmon pink, but. It, it, there's not too much pink in there, just kind of brightens it up, just like Plum Crazy does in Direct Sunlight, so I think it's pretty good color there, so we'll do Whatever that. 
Um, secondary color of this car is of course the front grille, um, and then all the side trim, window trim, rear bumper, uh, tail light trim too. You can see even the little keyhole on the trunk. I mean, <laughs> door handles, mirrors, all the trim changes. So for this one, you can either go chrome um, or you know black if you want to do that, uh, or if you want like a toned down chrome, you can go with the brushed black steel if you don't want it to be too bright and more like traditional um, looking. But I, I prefer the chrome. I, I definitely like that. So we'll do the nice bright chrome there on the bumpers and all that. Um, Crumbling for this car goes on the doors. Okay. Roll cage. So you have the roll cage upgrade, which is forced and like this weird sort of like brownish copper color. Very, very weird. Um, then you have the stunt cage, which removes the passenger seat, which I find hilarious. Puts a more aggressive roll cage. Um, and it also adds this like stunt logo on the side, as you can see there. So, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> It, it is forced on there, it is what it is. Um, and I mean, I would put the roll cage if it was black or primary color or something that's not this brown, so I'm definitely gonna skip this. Roof, you painted roof, and then you got all the different flags. So, of course, this is what we used to use to do like the, um, the General Lee Dukes of Hazard build reference, you know, you one of these flags. Um, but I'm not doing that for this build. I think we're gonna go with a nice painted roof. Spoiler upgrade, um, yeah, I mean, this does, does give you the traction benefit, right? So I think it's definitely worth doing. Um, it, it is a bit unfortunate that this car, the back end, they didn't do like the traditional Dodge Charger, how it kind of like has a built-in sort of like ducktail and the bodywork is just gorgeous. This car kind of just goes down like a waterfall. It's not really uh, the best look, and I guess it's kind of very similar to that Mercury Monterey we talked about it just is what it is, but this spoiler upgrade. I think it definitely adds like a decent look to it um, So we'll do that if it did have a ducktail option or that bodywork. I probably would not have put this but um, I think it still looks pretty good. There kind of finishes off the back end Suspension Should we lower it? Eh, why not? Transmission turbo wheels so for this one um i'm sort of between the duke custom wheels because they do have more of like a, a deep dish to them look um or we could do the muscle chrome and then these dukes right here um or the classic fives but i think maybe it's just a bit too much chrome i think so and i want that deep dish look anyways so i think we're gonna go with the uh, Duke custom right here. I think these look fantastic. We're gonna keep that alloy in the spokes with the chrome lip So we're gonna keep again the color here to alloy or well, well, stock which is alloy uh, Wheelie bar for some reason they have two options for the same thing. So <laughs> there's a rear bumper upgrade called wheelie bar and then there's also a uh, separate wheelie bar option probably an oversight there, but <laughs> that's what they did there uh, window tints um, I, I guess I'll do some light smoke Don't tints there, pretty. so it's not just fully transparent, and that's all the options there All right, let's take it for a drive It is currently still snowing in G town line, so The drive isn't gonna be the best, but I think it's gonna be fun Dodge Charger in the snow. It's a, oh that color looks fantastic. Wow. Damn, that is nice. I like the way that turned out. Wow, a bit brighter than Plum Crazy, but um, I, th I think it still looks really, really good. First person here, traditional muscle car interior, copy paste. We do have the primary color stitching transferred in the car, which is interesting, as you can see. Uh, with some revs here. So they just kind of copied and pasted the regular Dominator exhaust note, pretty much. So, is what it is. All right, that's floored here. Oh my god, endless wheel spin because of the snow. <laughs> Sounds good though. Oh yeah. It is quick. Very, very quick. I mean, this car is not slow by any means. It picks up speed very, very quickly. Uh, and believe it or not, depending on the track, this thing is right around the pace of the Hellfire, which I find. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Obviously the Hellfire doesn't handle all that great, but neither does this one Even though I think this one actually does handle slightly better than the Hellfire, which makes no sense 
Um, yeah, but the uh, Hellfire does have more power. It's faster in a straight line. But even in the snow, I mean, you'd think this thing would be a mess all over the place, but no, it actually handles, handles itself pretty nicely in the snow. I'm quite surprised. Very, very stable, very predictable. Take this corner here at a higher speed. Range Rover pulled out and messed up my corner, but I saved it. Oh, yeah. It is smooth, man. It drives very, very nice in the snow. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Ah! We're good, we're good. And of course, this is a muscle car, so you can do wheelies. Wow, it holds it pretty nicely, all things considering. Bit of throttle control there, and you can get a pretty decent wheelie there. There we go. Oh, engine kind of died there a bit, but... Not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. Muscle cars in the snow, they are fun. <laughs> they really are. Alright, vehicle doors, let's go all here. So, engine model, yikes. Yeah, I mean, copied and pasted. I think the Buccaneer had a very similar one as well. Um, you know, just copied and pasted from other muscle cars and even some SUVs and trucks use that engine model. Um, interior reused again, but with Imponte floor mats. For the trunk here, pretty nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's close this up here. So, do I think this car is worth it? Well, unfortunately, because the Beater Dukes exists, right, and it does have better detailed um, hood options um, and, and some other upgrades as well, which are just a little better, uh, I know it does come all beat up, but the, the, the kind of reason you buy that car is because you fix all those parts with the upgrades, but then you also have extra upgrades that the regular Dukes does not offer. This one is slightly faster, but that doesn't really matter all that much, right? Because either way, they're both not that competitive in their respective classes anyways. So, again, personally, I'd rather own the Beater Dukes. Yes, it is $378,000 compared to this Dukes, which is free if you're a returning player, or only $62,000, you know, if you're um, a newer player. But... Even with that extra cost, I do think the uh, the Beater Dukes is worth it personally, which is a shame, you know. Um, I think it would have been much better off if Rockstar would have just taken this Dukes and just made it a Benny's car, or just called it Dukes Custom or something, and then added that extra customization. I guess they were trying to experiment back then with maybe doing like um, uh, like like a restoration type of thing. That was probably them kind of like testing it. Uh, which is just weird. <laughs> I don't think it turned out that well because that's really the only time they've done that that I can think of it for the most part. So, yeah. Well, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 at do you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.